Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool single slot payphone and this is Dan's equipment from Wisconsin and we're going to be doing a conversion on this telephone so that he can use this for home use and he does have his keys and we also have a cash box in this unit so that's a plus and we're going to uh, go ahead and show you the inside of this telephone so we'll open it up and give you a look at the inside Okay, now that we have the payphone open, this gives you a look at the inside. Now we want to install a bell in this unit and a bell circuit because these payphones do not have bells in them. We also want to install a modular line port so that Dan can simply bring in any line, any length, any color and plug right in. It makes for a simple, clean plug and play connection. We have our programmable PC board right here and then our coin validator. We want to make sure that all of our coins are dropping through and ending up in the vault cash box. We also want to go ahead and go through the handset. We want to make sure our hook switch is good. So we'll kind of go through a little bit of everything. This is the initial checkout, so we're kind of just looking everything over. We want to troubleshoot uh, a lot of things here, and we want to make sure that uh, some of the things that we can use are okay, and then other pieces we won't use. So we want to go through everything before we start our conversion and then we can uh, come back and get some more video of this unit as we move forward in the progress of the repair and conversion. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay we're back now and as you can see we have removed everything from the back of the base of the unit. We've taken out our keypad and we want to show you that keypad. As you can see the back of this keypad it does not have any tone generator in it. That was all created by the board here that we removed and I want to show you that. This PC board here is a programmable board and it cannot be used in the conversion it would only cause trouble down the road and your telephone wouldn't work for very long. Now there's some guys out there that will try to convert these pay phones and they'll glitch this board and then they give you your telephone back and then they want you to pay them money to convert uh, the phone for them and then all of a sudden your telephone doesn't work any longer and that's because the board loses the glitch and it wants to go back into programming mode and you uh, won't be able to talk on your phone so we remove that totally so we want to set that to the side we also want to give you a look at the handset we've had to remove the cap on both ends and replace our receiver capsule and our transmitter. The uh, units that were in this were no good. And so if you know anything about pay phones, they actually glue the caps on the transmitter and the receiver. And if you've never taken the cap off of one of these receivers for a pay phone, it's not something that's simple you have to know how to remove them because they do glue them together and you can basically ruin your caps when you take them apart if you don't have experience removing them. So if you've never tried it before, it may not be a good idea. Now what we have to do is start designing all of our circuitry so that our keypad works, our transmitter and receiver for our handset and we need to install our bell and our bell circuit, a modular port so that it can be plugged into any line cord, any length, any color. So we'll go ahead and take a short break and we'll be right back. 
Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of the single slot payphone. And so basically, we're going to show a little bit about what's going on, and we're ready for our final checks. And so once Dan installs the backboard or the base unit, he can bring in any length line cord, any color he chooses, and he can plug right into the modular port that we have installed on the front panel. Now all of our electronics we were able to utilize this area and install the electronics in the keypad behind the keypad and so that's been taken care of. We have our bell there, all of our connections, we have our hook switch here and so that kind of cleans the whole conversion up where that allows you to hang the backboard on the wall bring through your line cord and then you can go ahead and install your front panel. So it makes for a clean connection. And so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put the unit back together again and we'll start our final checks. So we'll be right back. Okay we're back now and we want to go ahead and start with our final checks and we'll go ahead and put a quarter in. That drop down through the coin validator and into the cash box. We want to go ahead and use a dime. We want to use a nickel, another quarter, a nickel, and one dime. We'll go ahead and pull our cash box out. So now Dan's getting rich with uh, bubblegum money. We have our pickup here and that's for our amplification so that when we go ahead and do our final checks we can go ahead and uh, show you our receive and you can hear what's going on. We want to ring the unit. We had to install a bell We'll go ahead and use the analyzer and ring the unit. We're going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. And we'll give you some dial tone. We want to dial our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing in on a ring cycle. It's dialing out. It has receive and transmit. I can push this button on the switch box and that'll give us a line out and totally take the analyzer out of the situation and we can call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll give you some dial tone. Good morning. Today is Monday, October 27th. The time is 11.59. Current temperature, 87 degrees. Breezy today, partly cloudy highs in the 80s, partly cloudy tonight, then becoming mostly cloudy, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows around 60. Cool around Tuesday, partly sunny, a chance of showers, then becoming mostly sunny in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 60s. We can call one other number. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Dan and he can enjoy this telephone now. It's a very cool single slot payphone and it's in very good condition and I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. 
You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.